Hi, welcome to my tutorial on day and night weather cycles. First, we're going to place down a numpad. And we'll go ahead and put on the weather behavior on it. So we'll go ahead and click none. And on the top here, we can type in WE to get weather. Nothing pops up in a single player. So we need to drop down here and click synchronized to get multiplayer. We'll go ahead and click the weather. Now we can check what sort of weather events we want. We've got day and night. So we'll just go night and click preview and you can see everything here turns night. We want it to wait for message and that message we want is weather fade. You'll see it in yellow. That's a default message built inside GameMaker. So go ahead and click that. Now if we click edit logic, there's no uh, extra functions. That does apply though when it comes to custom. We'll go to that in a moment. Now we need a asset to trigger the weather fade message. So we'll go ahead and duplicate with control D and we'll remove the weather and we'll add a speaker component. We'll go ahead and make it synchronized again and we'll click the multiplayer speaker and we'll go ahead and get rid of the hello. And we don't want it to look at the target. So we'll turn that false and we can detect entity, edit the logic and we'll make the detect entity only two radius. And what we want to do is send the message weather fade when it does detect the entity. Now a new box pops up for time. That's how much time it will take to turn from day to night. So the fading in between. So if you want a really quick fade, you can do say three seconds and it'll go from day to night in three seconds. But if you want it to be a long cycle, you can do 30 seconds or you know even five minutes. It's up to you. Uh, but for this example, we'll just quickly do three seconds and a broadcasting type. We want to change that from all to everyone in range and we'll make that really small. So what's happening is it's going to send weather fade to all assets in this circle, which is this one over here. So we'll go ahead and click tab and test that out. So we'll go ahead and walk over to our numpad. And then you can see within three seconds, we've gone from noon to night, quite easy. Now, if we go ahead and change the number here to say 15 and we go ahead and tab you can see that that moon is going to take longer it's not three seconds anymore it's going to take 15 seconds to go from daytime to nighttime cool nice and easy now we're going to go ahead and duplicate our weather and with control d and move it over over here so it's not conflicting with the message uh, detections. And we'll go ahead and change that from night to noon and we click preview and that's what our noon looks like. We'll go ahead and duplicate this speaker and we'll bring it over here and same thing we can edit logic it's going to be weather fade and it's only going to broadcast in this circle which is this weather fade here so they don't overlap and to test that out we'll say four seconds for this one and we'll say four seconds for this one. So it will only take four seconds to fade between each weather. So we'll go over here and it will turn night time within four seconds. And then we can walk over to this one and it will turn it back into daytime. Nice and easy. Walk back over here and it is nighttime. So you can change uh, your weather any point in the game by using speakers. You can also change it so it doesn't detect the entity but requires a message so you just say wait for message you put whatever message you want in there like completing a quest or if you want them to interact you can uh, just use the interact and the player has to press e uh, for the weather to fade over but we'll click it to uh, we will do wait for message and we'll say w1 for weather one and we'll go over to the other speaker and we'll change that to wait for message. And we'll say W2 for weather two. And now we'll bring out a new numpad. And on this one, we're going to add a timed behavior. So timed events, and we don't want it to wait for message, meaning that it will just start the day and night cycle straight away. But if you don't want it to start straight away, you just tick that on and add a message that you want to wait for and we'll click reset. So when all these timed events are done, it will repeat them again. 
So the first message will be W1, and that takes four seconds. And then we'll go ahead and add a new timed event. And then here we'll click W2, and that will be eight seconds. So up at four seconds, it will send a message W1, and then eight seconds, it will send the message W2. And then it will reset and do it again. So if we go and click tab and see what happens, I'll just stand back here and we'll let that timed event tick over. And you can see now we've got a night cycle kicking in and then we've got the day cycle kicking in. And now we've got the night cycle <laughs> and then that's all. So it will go from day to night using that timed event. And you don't have to do anything. Of course, if you want it to take longer, like minutes, you just change that from four seconds to say five minutes and same with this one over here. Um, and nothing will happen for a whole five minutes. So I'm not gonna sit here for 10 minutes to show you an example of that, but that is um, how you do it if you did want to do it. So after four seconds, um, nothing will happen because we changed the timer to five minutes. But after five minutes, it should turn into nighttime and there's your cycles. So I hope that is being useful for you. Uh, one quick thing before I end this tutorial is uh, custom. So we go to custom and you can change the whole sky box and cloud intensity and sun color uh, when you click edit logic. So you can go ahead, I'll put it all black because I like this as an example. And you can click preview and you can see we've changed the sky box. Uh, you could change the cloud color to yellow and click preview. And you can see that's all changed as well. Uh, you can change the sun color, so it's black. Um, even the moon color, so it's black. And now we've got a whole black sky with yellow clouds. You can go ahead and make them reddish or something that's more to your liking. Then yeah so and then you can weigh uh fade into these custom weathers as well so uh, you don't have to use the default ones you can make your own and come up with some really cool concepts you can change the cloud density so there's no clouds at all there's plenty here that you can use to control the weather also the lighting as well i want to just show this if you bring it down to like a gray and click apply it darkens the whole blocks and assets. So the more further down you get, the more darker your world can be as well. So the light here is uh, the way to do it. If you go on the other side, it's not really um, what I was trying to show with the brightness, but you can change the color as well, the tone of your level. I hope this tutorial has been useful. If you have any questions, just message us on Discord. Have a great day.